discovered is for many, many years we were teaching creative thinking and design thinking and helping companies try and use creative problem solving to solve difficult problems. But unfortunately, many of those participants would come into the room and when they came into the room, we'd say, we're going to use this creative problem solving method to solve a problem. And the first thing they'd say is they'd put their hands up and say, that's not for me. Uh, that's another department or that's another mindset or another way of thinking. And so when you use the word what killed innovation, yes, we are using a crime scene metaphor because we want to be creative. But to remove the metaphor, let's look at what blocks the innovation process. People were coming to our sessions wanting to be creative, wanting to solve problems, but had all these excuses. They might have been fear, they might have been control, they might have been pessimism, something that stopped them or prevented them being creative. And so we realised that there was no point in teaching these uh, sessions on how to be creative unless we were dealing with the actual issues that were personally stopping them. We, them. we worked with a neuroscientist and a psychologist to try and see what's going on up here, what's, what's happening in our brain that's blocking us being creative. We're calling them suspects, murder suspects, to be part of the theme. Uh, seven things that we need to deal with if we want to become creative. CSI can run for small, intimate groups looking for a safe environment to have an honest discussion with actionable outcomes, through to large groups using the session as a diagnostic tool to take a snapshot of the organisation's creative thinking ability. You cannot ignore the devices. <laughs> okay. Put your hand up if you think your children are creative. As before we come and learn about how to create a culture of innovation, as I said, it needs to start with us and it needs to start with the people in your organisation. So I think we need to give this lady a round of applause. What I believe you did today was provide our clients those tools to help them become a marketing success. The case study was particularly good uh, because it was a real life example um, of a, a company that thought outside of the box. Totally impressed. It's, it's logical, there's a neuroscience behind it. It's not only fun, there's a lot of, lot of real facts in it. Overly imaginative and overly loaded with tools and ideas. Because we put it into the context of innovation and the company as such, it makes it first more credible, it makes it more actionable for us. And I'll critically look at my workspace and improve it as opposed to mess it up. The CSI programs are supported by a number of collateral, including full customised working folders, workbooks and worksheets, allowing participants to reflect and discover and walk away with actionable strategic plans. For those who want to dive deeper, there's a 300-page book published by Wiley in multiple languages and formats. For those that want to scale, we offer licensing Train the Trainer. This is great for corporate companies who want to ingrain the sessions into their KPIs or vision, mission and values, and local training companies who can buy the license and contextualize the content to be culturally sensitive. The Train the Trainer manual comes with 500 pages of referencing containing comprehensive information about every aspect of running the session. And each program comes with CSI table kits and resources. Combined with face-to-face -face teaching, we can ensure the facilitators are fully equipped to deliver the material. This is all supported by online videos and plenty of resources. It might be hard to imagine, but being creative often first means being destructive. This strategy is about continually pulling apart common ideas and putting them back together in new ways. Creative ideas often come from joining two apparently unrelated ideas together. To access many parts of the brain, we need to demonstrate flexibility, which, as the Torrance test shows, is one of the key attributes of creative people. Flexibility is the skill that allows us to see problems from different perspectives. They built kites to trial designs and used a wind tunnel to test early flying machine prototypes. Given that somewhere between 70 to 90% of innovations typically fail, Agile innovation has enabled more rapid prototyping through faster trial and error. The lean startup approach to innovation has also introduced the idea of a minimum viable product. 